Hey guys, Adam here, and in this video, I'm going to be giving you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make iPhones and iPod Touches running iOS 4 faster. A lot of users have been complaining about the speeds of mainly iOS 4 on the iPhone 3G and iPod Touch 2G on the new iOS 4 update. Everything on these new devices gets ridiculously slow when you update to iOS 4. So for example, this is an iPod Touch 2G, I'll click into settings. And literally it takes like 3 seconds to open settings, it's actually worse on the iPhone 3G. So if you're sick of the speeds of iOS 4 on some of your older devices, this tutorial is going to be good for you. This isn't recommended on iPhone 4s, iPhone 3GSs, or even iPod Touch 3G, 32GB, and 64GB because this won't really make too much of a difference of the speed. It'll make the speed difference really not even noticeable. But on the iPhone 3G and on the iPod Touch 2G, there is a really big difference. So it's a little bit different on the iPod Touch 2G and iPhone 3G than it is for the rest of the devices. So if you have an iPod Touch 2G or iPhone 3G, first you're going to want to go into Settings. Then you're going to want to go into General. Then you're going to want to go into Home button. Then you're going to want to go into Spotlight Search. And in Spotlight Search, you're going to want to disable everything you don't want to use in the Spotlight. If you disable everything, this is even better. Surprisingly, this actually makes your device a little bit faster. It's kind of surprising. And if you're not actually seeing any speed differences at first, just restart your device and the speed differences should be taking place. So if you have an iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, or an iPod Touch 3G, 32GB slash 64GB, you're going to want to go into Settings, General, Spotlight Search, and do the same thing. Disable everything you don't use. So once you actually do that, you can still go into Spotlight, and the only thing you can actually do in here is search the web or Wikipedia. So for example, I want to go for Safari, and you're not actually going to be able to go into Safari. So you know guys, that's basically it for this tutorial. Like I said, it's a really simple tutorial, and surprisingly, disabling the Spotlight search results is actually going to make your iOS 4 devices faster. So if you guys are actually going to try this out on your iOS device, make sure to leave your thoughts below. Did this actually make your iOS device a little bit faster? For me, on this iPod Touch 2G, it definitely does make a difference. So hopefully it will for you guys as well. So yeah guys, that's basically it. Thanks a lot for watching.